The Great Monster Hunt by Norbert Landa and Tim Warnes, read by Grandpa Tom. Early one morning, a funny noise woke up Duck. It sounded like, fsh, fsh, and it came from right under her bed. Duck was not quite sure what it was, and she was much too scared to look. Instead, she jumped out of bed and ran for help. Pig, Duck yelled, there's something under my bed, and it's making strange sounds. It goes, fsh, fsh, grrr, fsh, fsh, grrr, asked Pig. Oh, my, we need someone really strong to help. Stay right where you are. And Pig ran to find Bear. Pig told Bear all about the frightening noise under Duck's bed. It goes, Psh, psh, grrr, bang, bang. I wanted to tell you, Bear, because you are so strong. Bear lifted a huge log. It is true I am strong enough for almost anything, he said. But I think we better find someone who is loud enough to chase the thing away. So they ran to find Wolf who was about to start his early morning howling. Bear told him the dreadful news about the terrifying thing under Duck's bed. It goes, fsh, fsh, grrr, bang, bang, wham, wham, all of the time, Bear said. We thought you could help us frighten it away. Oh, yes, I can, Wolf proudly said. There is no match for what I can do. Just listen. Ow! But maybe we also need help from someone really clever. So they ran to find Owl. Listen, Wolf said. There is a dreadful and terrifying sound under Duck's bed. It goes, fsh, fsh, grrr, bang, bang, wham, wham, growl. Owl was lost for words. We thought you might know what it was, Pig said, because you are so clever. Owl said, Clever? Yes, that I am. So I can tell you one thing. Duck is in great danger. Pig, Bear, and Wolf huddled closer together. Are you sure? They asked. Oh, yes, Owl said. Can you imagine anything kind and cuddly making such a noise? It must be a monster, yelled Pig. Oh, what are we going to do? The only way to deal with a monster, Owl said, is to trap it. Clever Owl. So the animals set out to gather rope and nets and useful pokey things. Then the four of them bravely set off toward Duck's house. Owl led the way because trapping the monster was a clever idea. Next came Wolf, howling loudly. Ow! Then came Bear, with his monster-busting stick. Last was Pig, clutching his great monster-catcher net. Finally they arrived at Duck's house and flattened their ears against the door. But no monstrous sound was heard. No screaming, nor crying, nor calling for help. Maybe we are too late, whispered Bear. Oh, no, Pig cried in despair. Duck, are you there? called Wolf. Then the door slowly creaked open. It was Duck. You're here, she said. Duck, you are in great danger, whispered Bear. There's a monster under your bed cried Pig. Duck looked ready to faint. A monster? she whimpered. How do you know? Because it goes psh, psh, grrr, bang, bang, wham, wham, growl, Pig yelled. And wee, Owl added. Come on, let's get it. And all the animals charged into Duck's house. Up the stairs they crept, then they heard a sound. Psh, psh, it went. 
It came from right under Duck's bed. Owl flashed his lantern. The animals gasped. They could not believe their eyes. There, right under Duck's bed, was a tiny mouse, snoring softly in its tiny bed. Psh, psh. Would you look at that? Duck whispered. Do you know what we've just done? Owl smiled. All feeling rather silly, the animals looked at each other and giggled. We've just created a monster out of a mouse. The End <laughs>